our starting grid for the race in pole position is Marshall. On the outside of him is Elite. Marshall with a 21-0. Elite with a 21-1. On the second row is Grample and health insurance on the outside of him. In row three is the 69 only fans of Beefy. On the outside of him is me, TG, in the green Gatorade car. Behind them is Knight Rider Ace. On the outside of him is Monty. In ninth place is KO. On the outside of him, Logi Kara. In 11th place, Sideswipe. In 12th, outside of him is Nippo. The 24 car of Pinpin Pin is in 13th, with Support Gay Bees, your current points leader, starting in 14th. In 15th place, newcomer Surge is flanked by also newcomer Pro Hybrid, who's in 16th. Start your and there's the command to start engines if you want to. I'm going to get all camered up here on a Thursday afternoon. Helicam. Sideswipe and Nippo, Dominic and Sport KB, Surge and Pro Hybrid. Oh. I believe you are fifth last there. Uh... Yeah, he's in a uh, 17th. 17th, yep. All right, we are about to start this absolutely chaotic race. And there we go, oh green flag, God. green flag, green flag, green flag, and we're off! It looks so much more packed than last Oh, race. it's 100% more packed as we go into turn one, the bottom lane. Going ahead, Why is there and Grample and Marshall. Smokes. Grample Why is there Marshall. already a gap? There's already a gap, dude, I don't know, man. So we've already had a bit of a breakout from the leaders here. We have Marshall leading Grample, and I believe the music is a bit too loud. Let me try and do my best to turn that down here in a moment. It's a bit too loud for my ears anyways. Oh yeah, I also want to say we have this for the stream now. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Let's boy. Let's go. The only question is, where did the laps remaining and the flag go? <laughs> okay, let me switch into this while I uh, do some research here. Okay, there we go, I fixed it. All right, do we have any uh, big movers going on here? Uh, well, there's about a half a second gap between first and second and a half second gap between uh, second and third. Yeah. Uh, Marshall is just absolutely pulling away here. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. So now you can actually see uh, oh, how many laps Looks like we had a we had a pass in the back. Looks like Alex just passed uh, Star Fox for last. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I saw it on the little thing he gave me. Hell it tells yeah. me when people pass. Okay, the flag indicator works. Okay, we have no more technical difficulties ever again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Where's the Tylenol? <laughs> Beefy just dropped down to eighth. <laughs> nice lag. I didn't see a minus on my end. Oh god, the um, lag. I didn't see it either, but it just happens. See, so yeah, 125 laps, so 
Uh, with the settings we're playing on, we're doing uh, 125 laps, but the fuel and tire wear is set to four times the normal rate, which means the maximum you can generally go here on a full tank of fuel is 43 laps. Now that means if you completely stretch out your stance and you're saving a little bit of gas, um, that means you can do this in three pit stops, but I don't know if the AI is going to be able to do that or not, is the thing. So when, if you are going to do a four pit stop strategy here for these 125 laps, uh, I believe the pit window is going to be anywhere between 32 and 35 laps is we're gonna, where we're going to see people start coming in. Looking at the times here, it looks like we're already almost half the track between the uh, leader and the end of the end of the group. Yeah, just look at uh, just look at uh, Marshall here. So uh, Marshall's been incredibly busy this week, and he told me he didn't have enough time to set up the stats, so he just uh, he basically just copy pasted Nippo setup, and man, it's working. <laughs> it's working. Yeah. He's one and a half second ahead, or 1.1 second ahead of Grample, and Grample is two seconds, almost three seconds ahead of third place. We've still got a pretty packed battle here. Uh, let's follow KO, as Loki Kara is right behind him. There's Nippo, whose setup is the reason why Marshall is so far in the lead. Knight Rider Ace in front of him. Very tight pack here. I believe this is... There's number 12. This is... Uh, we're following seventh place right now, so... With the 71, the Pepsi Man car of Elite in fourth place. First place just broke two seconds on second. <laughs> and it once hurt, again, it hurts. <laughs> so we're 16 laps in already. Time really flies at Martinsville. Here's your leader, Maestro, in the 05 Turtle Wax Ford. And uh, holy cow, the margin. The only one even on the same straightaway as of his grample. And the number three gamer, Gukar. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what he put in his morning coffee, but it's making go, go, go. So you have Grample, you have Marshall. Let's take a look at who's leading the third. Th this is how far behind third place onward is. It's uh, Helton leading Nippo, leading Elite. I, I don't think anyone can catch these two. We'll see what happens when they catch up to lap traffic. Yeah, that's always a concern at Martinsville. Very... Not a ton of space to get your elbows up around here. If you get a tiny bit aggressive, you can easily spin somebody around. There you go, Knight. Let's go back to this uh, group of second place on back cars right now. That Rider Ace trying to fight for sixth place against Elite in the 71 Pepsi Man Pepsi uh, Chevrolet. It seems we've mostly gone down to single file racing for the most part. The order set itself. Knight taking position right here, sending Elite to the outside, but will Elite get a runoff to defend? And it looks like it's a dead even drag race right now, but I think Knight is going to complete this pass. Elite and I have been battling for most of the race so far. <laughs> yeah. And we were speculating, um... Uh, one of the gimmicks of the league is that a day before the race, um, everybody's stats are entered and qualifying times are generated for them, and they know two numbers. One, the qualifying time they got, and the qualifying time of the fastest car. They don't know 
who got that time, they just know what the fastest time clocked was. And that sparked a lot of conversation as to, oh, we need to change up our strategies. And, you know, there were some people going like, oh my god, we're, we're fast. And definitely the group of people, uh, Grample uh, was the one who scored the fastest time in those uh, generated qualifying times. And pretty much all the Chevrolets cribbed each other's notes because there is a finishing bonus for the manufacturers. If the manufacturer has the highest average finish, they'll get bonus points to spend on the next race. So there is incentive to sort of uh, mingle with your teammates and try to collectively get the best cars of the field so you can race among yourselves for those championship points. Uh, it just looks like a side note, Grample is caught up. Yeah. Yes, Grample yep. has, I was just gonna switch to that right now. <laughs> your leader here, Marshall in the 05. Grample is chasing him down. And I, this, I think this is going to be a two-car race. Now, second on back is still going to be hyper-competitive. I'm going to keep my second eye on that as the race progresses. But this right here is your main story. Marshall must have high-rolled all of his stats. But Grample is not losing him. We're already on lap 27 of 125 laps. 100 laps remain. We're about 10, 14 laps away from the first round of pit stops, which is where I think everything is going to shake up with this group, with the second place group of cars here. Who I believe Logie is now leading in the 76 Pokemon Showdown Chevrolet. Helton, you, you need to get out of my way, man. <laughs> that's Helton in the 18 Nerds car, and that's Knight Rider Ace in the 51 both my co-commentators right now being are trailing the number one kirby superstar ford driven by nippo oh that's such a beautiful car thank you i love the wheelie <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay we're gonna go back to the leaders for a quick a moment because grample is right on that rear bumper marshall coming into this race sixth in the points grample his first race in the league starting at zero points. What a big boon it would be. What a great start for his championship run here. And there's more points on the line than ever here in this league. You get two points for every person you place in front of, provided you don't DNF. So I believe the most amount of points you can earn with 14 people was just 26 points, since you don't earn any points for coming in last. And I think we're up to 40 points now. So there's a lot for finishing in first. And it seems our second place group on back has started to string out quite a bit now as Logie leads them in third place. And fourth is Nippo, fifth is Health Insurance, and sixth is the 51 of Knight Rider Ace. I believe that's Elite and KO trailing behind them as well. Whoa, really wide there by Knight Rider Ace. Thanks. <laughs> I did not look like a good exit. And oh my goodness. I I'm looking at my laptop. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep everyone, but it's lap traffic time, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Ridian, who's currently in last place, has the battle for first in his rear view mirror. Oh yeah. And this is where the game begins. Yeah, we are getting to lap 33. I don't believe we're going to see pit stops just yet. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the technical difficulties. We're back to the battle for first place. Alex Ridian in the 21 Carfax car there in the, in the Pontiac. We have our first pits. That's the Dan Carino car, the 24 of, or the 42, sorry, of Pro Hybrid going in the pits alongside Monty, I believe. And here we go, our leaders are now pitting as well. So I believe that means we're going to go picture in picture here. 
So this is our lead two cars right now. In the smaller screen in the bottom right is the current lead group that is staying out. I'm, who are now coming into the pit, so go figure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it looks like lap 36 is... Uh, every 36 laps we're going to see pit stops as positions 1 and 3 are filled here. Huge pit stop battle here. If Grample has the better pit crew... He might be able to speed off in front of Marshall, but it looks like Marshall is getting on those left side tires quickly. As we see the people who pitted a lap earlier exiting, that was Sarge, or Surge and Poketer exiting, and Marshall has a pretty good pit stop, leaves early, sideswipe barely gets his lap back there. And we're off. Pin Pin and Support KBs, joined there by Firestar Rocks, Alex Ridian, and the 23 car of Star Fox 230, Bruce, coming out there. And there we go. All three of these are going to be put a lap down by Marshall. Your points leader, B, is on the inside. Up in risk of going a lap down here to the absolute rockets that Marshall and Grample have been so far in this race. We've got a very intense battle here as uh, TG has gone on the inside of the 71 of Elite. A very daring pass on the outside. KO trails those two. Knight Rider Ace in front pulling away there as Sideswipe exits the pits there behind them. Your Bristol winner two weeks ago falling in line. Grample gets around bees on the inside, but Marshall is pulling away yet again. I'm a squash between you and Helton right now. Yeah. Duh. Uh, here's a battle I definitely want to take a look at. I believe this is uh, 11th place. We got Beefy, we got Pro Hybrid, we got Surge, Aquatic, and Moni all bunched up here racing for position. This Pro Hybrid starts zooming off. So, uh, co-casters, if you can confirm, we are fully done our first round of pit stops, right? Everyone has one pit yep. stop lifted? Okay, excellent. Yep. God, I uh, love looks technology. Like, <laughs> looks like Sideswipe <laughs> uh, let those two laps the leaders were in the pits. Yes, so that is important. So we are using the lap led bonus point rule here. If you lead a lap at any point, if you have one lap led, that's five points right there, whoever you are. If you have the most laps led of anyone, that's an additional five bonus points. So staying out has a huge incentive, especially if you're just fighting for every single point out there, because positions are only worth two points. So sacrificing your pit strategy a little bit to stay out as Surge gets dangerously close to the back end of Beefy there, breaking into turn two. Oh my goodness, this battle. Another insane battle happening right now is between our leaders Grample is right on the back bumper of your leader. The Turtle Wax Ford in first place once again, navigating lap traffic as we see Firestar Rocks and Pin Pin ahead of them. And the 18th, I believe, is there. So three people lap down, including your points leader, Support Gay Beats. And is Nippo catching up? I think Nippo's catching I up. So. I saw him in the background there. He's on the lead yep. lap in third. Battle for position here is Beefy is right on the back bumper of Pro Hybrid. This is just for 12th place, but the racing like it's uh, for first right now. Surge is also trying to look on the inside of Beefy, but Beefy's back bumper is 18 feet wide and he can't find a way to get in. And yeah, another update on our battle for the lead. Nippo has made this a three car battle. And Grample takes first place as well. Oh, yep, he just got that lap led. 
already an exciting race at Martinsville. And Nippo gets on the inside of Marshall and he's going to get off on the inside. Will he be able to keep the inside here and complete the pass? Marshall is still on the outside. It looks like he clears the Marshall has moved down to third place. What a change. Now we know Nippo and Marshall are on the exact same points setup. So if one's good, the other's got to be good as well, right? As Grample is trying to get around the 91 of Firestar Rocks, looking left, looking right, unable to find a room before the turn. As we see back in our pack here, Surge finally found a way around Beefy. He's on the inside, but unable to complete the pass. Beefy cuts in front for the block. Still trying to chase down the 42 of Pro Hybrid. This is for 11th position here. Beefy currently in 12th. Going back to our leaders as Nippo is looking to use Pin Pin in the 24 as a pick. Unable to get fully on the inside though. And let me tell you, we were talking up the Chevrolets during the pre-show here and how Grample got the fastest time with his build in yesterday's practice sessions, but it looks like Ford is coming out in full Lariat mode here as Marshall's definitely set the standard and Nippo has got a... Uh, was raced up here as well, Pinpin -pin going a lap down. So a full rundown of what I see here in first place is Grample, second place Nippo, third place is Marshall. In fourth place, the 76 of Logi Kara. In fifth place, the 18 of Health Insurance. In sixth, Knight Rider Ace. In seventh, PG, go me. Uh, in eighth is the number 12 of KO. Ninth is the 71 of Elite. And number 10 is the 7 of Sideswipe. In 11th is the 42 of Pro Hybrid. In 12th is the 69 of Beefy. Eight, er, in 13th is the number 8 of Surge. In 14th is the number 14. Uh, that's Aquatic in 14th. 15th is the 37. So I don't know who the 37 is. Monty. Monty, thank you. Yeah, you, I don't know why you're... I'm doing the hard job of reading this. You've got the full <laughs> ass, like, <laughs> HTML you table in front of you. You didn't ask. You didn't ask, dude. Uh, in 16th is Pokéter, the number 87. In 17th is the 24 of Pin Pin, one lap down. The 91 of Firestar Rocks is an 18th, one lap down. The 23 of Star Fox 230, one lap down, and the 21 of Alex Ridian is in 20th. In last place is our championship points leader, Support Gay Beats, one lap down. Wow. Looks like side swipe just past Elite. Let's see if we can get, uh, uh, let's get a view of that battle. Now here it is. It looks like he passed him and then some as he takes off into turn one. KO, TG, and I believe that's Beefy in front of him. Grapple retakes the lead, by the way. I think we saw that on stream, but I just want to reiterate that as Nippo, huge move on the inside here, and he's going to retake the lead. Side by side going into turns one and two, and Nippo takes the lead again from the Chevrolet. I think that's the Open first time Nippo's wide. Grapple might take the lead again. What a battle we have here for first. I don't think Grapple... Oh, Nippo speeds off, secures the inside. As he almost crashes into the side of the 87 Poketer there. As he goes that a lap down. Nippo's first lap lead. That is Nippo's first lap lead, so there you go. He deserves it with how hard he's running, and Poketer's going to get into the inside line and separate our two leaders. No yellow flags yet, caution free so far in this exciting Martinsville race as we see our leader here, Nippo, trying to get around lap traffic. The number three of Grample, that orange gamer goo car behind this red and white of Poketer, in second place.
looks like everybody's spread out for the most part. Yeah, we have our battle here. We got Surge. The leader's behind them right now, desperately trying to be like, alright, we gotta stop fighting, we gotta put the pedal down, we are gonna be lapped here. As we are quickly approaching the second round of pit stops. Oh, yeah. Should be next couple laps here, next five laps or so. Hold on, I just realized I had it on single loop this whole time, so the whole the same song was playing the whole time. I am so sorry. <laughs> As Aquatic goes a lap down. And Nippo has turned on the funny fuel right now as he's just completely passing everyone left, right, and center. Grample is stuck behind two lap cars from him. And Nippo has a pretty comfortable lead right now. But we'll see, just one bad pit stop can put him behind. As Bees, our championship leader, continues to plummet. Oh, Knight just passed me. I finally passed you. Holy yeah, smokes. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's get that battle on the camera right now. The 51 of Knight Rider Ace. This is a battle for fifth place right now between him and second place in the championships is health insurance in that 18 nerds car. And it looks like he passed him and then some. He's pulling away. Yeah, let's keep it that way. <laughs> Nippo just put Surge a lap down. He's looking to put Pro Hybrid another lap down as well. And there he goes. Dan Carino. We should see the first set of pits here any lap now. I'm trying to do my best here to search for any other battles going on. We have a pretty close battle as KO makes contact with TG's rear bumper going into the turn. Going into turn one and two here. So this is a battle for seventh place. KO in eighth right now. The 12 NVIDIA car we're looking at. The 27 in front of him. The 23 of Bruce there on the outside is one lap down currently. As almost contact between the two of them. That was scary to watch. Uh, there's been only one yellow flag in the whole league so far, and that was at the Darlington race, and that led to a very controversial finish where a lot of people, including me, got stuck a lap down, and I am still salty about it. It was a tactical yellow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's been. It's my story. It's my story, and I'm sticking to it. It's been pretty free as Nippo continues to. Uh, Nippo continues to increase his lead here. Mac is to, bad. <laughs> Mac is bad as uh, Nippo is looking to put support gapes down two laps. And TG has entered the pits. The first next round of pit stops has begun. As I'm looking here, we've got Monty. We've got uh, Poketers in the pits. TG's in the pits. So we've got some early pit cyclers here. As Nippo is actually struggling to get around the 69 of Beefy. And Beefy goes into the pits. Pro Hybrid is following Beefy into the pits there along with Surge. Let's go to picture in picture with that. As Nippo has severely increased his league as he enters the pits. Lead is in the pits. Support KB is getting one of her laps back. Logie making a pit here. A very slow st pit stop here from Nippo as Knight Rider Ace and Health Insurance enter the pits. And Nippo's out. Alex gets a lap back, barely. 
And Nipple beats Grample out of the pits, which is what's the important thing here. So we currently only have, uh, I don't know if these stats have up, uh, updated fully or not, but we only have 10 cars on the lead lap. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it's showing here that Beefy is a lap down. Although the seven car of Sideswipe is shown to be in second place now. I don't think that's fully correct. I don't know if he's pit yet. Doesn't show it. Does he have one less pits than everyone else? Yep. Yeah, okay, so Sideswipe stayed Kev out. Kevin, Kevin, Sideswipe, and Firestar Rocks look like they have not pit. Okay. I love having info. <laughs> it makes, it makes <laughs> broadcasting these so much easier, let me tell you. Looking for battles here, Bees is passed by the 51 of Knight Rider Ace. Bees is having a dismal race, let me tell you. I don't know what she set up her stats right now as TG and health insurance. And looking on the inside. It looks, really like we close. Have looks like we have nine cars on the lead lap. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm looking here. Yeah, it looks like we have a good battle between, uh, who is that, Logie and Grample. Let's switch to that. So that's Grample in the orange gamer goo and behind him in the 76 Pokemon Showdown car. This is the battle for second place. That Gears of War car is the 36, 37, sorry, of Moni, who is a lap down. Okay, again, it's those fast Chevrolets. Loki in third place, trying to look for a pass on Grample. Gets a little bit of a bumper in and gets the inside away from him. The question is, will this be for pass? Doesn't look like just yet. This battle's not over as Logie falls back in line. That again gets the bottom away from Grample, but the 14 of Aquatic is going to block Logie's run. And oh, oh my goodness, I thought they were going to go three wide for a moment. I did too. <laughs> oh my god, my heart almost stopped. <laughs> <laughs> so Marshall, who was your early race leader, has dropped to fourth place. He's going to be looking to fight back through all the traffic here. You can see him at the tail end of this line behind the 24 of Pin Pin and that Hydro Quebec car. Grandpa yeah. in, er, sorry, Marshall in the 05 Turtle Wax car there. He's in fourth place. He was dominating the early parts of this race before Nippo and Grandpa really turned the afterburners on. Looks like you just passed me. Oh, heck, get in. Um, I don't know if this is in position right now, but, uh, it looks like the 51 of Knight Rider Ace and Firestar Rocks are going at it. This is not for position. Firestar Rocks is being listed as a lap down. I really need him to move, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So here's Marshall trying to get through lap traffic to get back up to first place where he was comfortably sitting in for the beginning of the run. Again, in fourth right now. Grample is just about two seconds ahead of him as he goes really wide on this turn. But he gets a hell of a run because of it, straight to the inside. TG and Health Insurance are still going at it. TG just picked up a get, uh, position against Helton not too long ago, and Helton's looking to, to get it back. 
You know, friends borrow from each other all the time, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just thought I'd draft I was trying to save, so I thought I'd draft you a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if you caught a glimpse of it there, but um, everyone in the league has rookie stripes except for those who have a race victory. So Sideswipe, Health Insurance, and Support DVs are the only cars in the field without those yellow bumper stripes there. So a bit of a bragging rights there on the skin. Uh, Nippo just entered the chat. Yes, you are in the lead by a significant margin. You are absolutely dominating this race after the second round of pit stops. Uh, the margin of victory right now, Nippo is six seconds ahead of Logie, and it looks like Logie has successfully passed Grample for second place. Let's get a view of that battle as those two are in lap traffic right now. The 76 of Logie is battling the three of Grample. And they've got lots and lots of lap traffic between them and the first place runner, Nippo. Seems like I turned my laptop up a little bit. And just like that, time flies by so quickly here. Lap 92, there's only 33 laps remaining, which means now if you're going to short pit, you're going to short pit right now. There's an overview of Martinsville right now. I'm trying to find out where Nippo is. That's Marshall at the bottom of the screen trying to find a way around Star Fox 230 as he does going into 3 and 4. Logie and Grample are just crossing the start and finish line. Now they're at the tail end of that blob there going into turn 1. And I believe that's Nippo on the straightaway trying to put Bees down a lap. And he does. Bees is another lap down. Your championship leader having a terrible race right now. He's looking to put Sideswipe a lap down. The Bristol winner. What did they put in these Ford engines? <laughs> There are only nine cars right now on the lead lap. It will be down to eight if Nippo can find a way around Sideswipe as he goes really wide around the turn, practically leaving the door open. We have a really, really close battle here. Once again, TG and Helton are going at it bumper to bumper as KO looks on as well. Looks like Grample has passed Logie. Let's get you that battle here. So there it is, Grample in the number three Gamer Goo car in second place now. Logie is in that red car behind the blur car of Surge. Logie, the 76 car, the Pokemon Showdown livery. as I believe Helton takes the position over TG. Looks like it might be a fight. It is a real fight as Kevin is looking to get a position on TG right now. We're still focused on Grample in the number three right now. As Logie just needs to get around the number eight of Surge to get at that second pit place fight. Nippo is 6.8 seconds ahead right now. Holy smokes. I believe we'll see a pit here soon. Yeah, pits any time now. There's only 25 laps to go. And we have a spin! Marshall! We have a caution flag is out. I'm desperately trying to find Marshall wherever the hell he was. We had him there for a moment. Marshall was spun there. I'm gonna try and get to a replay of that. The caution is out. And wow, caution out with 24 laps to go. And that's gonna reset everything. Whoa, All that work Nippo did to put 
space in front. I don't know what these AIs are doing. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, uh, Grandpa and Logie are entering the pits right now. I'm gonna do my best to try and get uh, keep the action going here as we try to get a replay of what just happened to Marshall. Now remember, rules are only lead lap cars can pit the first time by, so everyone else staying out right now can't pit yet. It's just, I believe there's still only eight cars on the lead lap. You could correct me, people with almighty knowing uh, stats. Nine. Nine, nine cars, cars on the lead lap right now, so. This is going to put the whole, all the field together, and I don't think anyone needs to pit again. As Loki barely doesn't get beat Grample off of pit road, Grample will be, and I believe in first place here. And we have our culprit, so here's the cause of the caution right now. We're on board Beefy's car right now. As we're going into turn three, and he just gets into the back of fourth place Marshall. And he turns him into the inside wall. <laughs> Here's a view oh, and the that outside. took him out of the race. He is retired. He's retired. The oh my god. Let's go. Marshall, who was dominant in the early part of this race, and after a so-so pit stop on the, I believe the second or third pit cycle, falling back to fourth but fighting. This crash caused him to retire. Holy moly. After 44, he's still the lap leader at the moment. Oh, with the most laps led right now. Yeah, by now, two. Now, here's the thing. Look at this line of cars right here. Look how far back Nippo is. I uh -huh. don't know what pit stop Nippo had, but it was not a good one. He is currently, I believe that is in sixth place. Grample and Logi, who were fighting for quite a while there for the second place position, are going to lead this thing. With Helton and KO in third and fourth, the 51 of Knight Rider Ace and there the 7 of Sideswipe are in front of Nippo. I would like to point out that the top four are all Chevys. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's one to go. The lights on the pace car are out. All the cars that are a lap down are going to form a line on the inside here. So our... Which is pretty much the whole field at this point. Everyone on the outside right now is on the lead lap. TG is the only car. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a oh, hard no. race. So everyone on the inside is at least one lap down in various different position numbers. But green, 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 green. And here we go. Only 20 laps to go. No more pit stops matter. If you got full fuel, if you got good tires on that last pit stop, this is all that matters right now. Grample leads the outside line. Loki behind them, followed by Helton KO and Knight Rider Ace as Sideswipe gets into Beefy a little bit there on the inside. And Grample takes the bottom line from Elite. And Logie takes the bottom line away from Elite as well. I'm gonna see if I can find Nippo in this mess. Currently in seventh. Currently in seventh, but not only that, but look at how far behind in the group he is. He's gone completely sailed back he's stuck behind beefy and he's in the back part of this group the worst possible case scenario for your race leader nippo was now dropped to seventh place tg in the position behind him in eighth as logie and grapple are battling for first and second what do you call them helton tactical cautions Tactical caution. Yeah, and now we have Chevrolet fighting for one and two, taking the lead away from not only the 0-5 of Marshall, but Nippo, the other forward, now struggling at the back of the pack. Tactical caution.
And look at this, people are just, Necro is just being passed on the outside heart. What is happening? Now this is, this is where the finishing stat matters the most. For those of you who spent points on that, it looked like Pokédor almost got on the inside of TG and barely prevented an accident from happening. 14 to go, Grample leading Logie. Grample and Logie here, the two newcomers to the league. There's been seven people. We've gr grown from 14 last race to 21 for this. We've only had one retiree. That was Marshall after that accident that shook up the whole grid and might have taken Nippo out of the race. I don't know. Elite is one lap down, but in third place now was Knight Rider Ace. Er Let's go. Fourth place. In fourth, fourth. place. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it showed me the 12 of Kevin is in third. What? Yeah, Kevin's in third. Oh, but... No, Kevin's, no, Kevin's in no. fourth. With my eyes, ah. I can see that that is the... NVIDIA number 12 behind the 51 of Knight Rider Ace. Oh yeah. Just oh, updated. it just it just updated. Okay, so that must have been a little yeah accident. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Nippo is absolutely struggling to get through traffic here. Ten more laps. Let's keep it. Ten together. more laps. And Elite is doing a really good job here, even though he's a lap down. He's keeping pace. And Knight Rider Ace is going to get by him though, right? As I say that. So Knight is a factor in this race right now. We have a three-way battle, four-way if you include Kevin, who's in the back there. KO in the 12, NVIDIA lurking in the back. Don't count him out. Nine laps to go. And Logie is going to go on the inside of Grample, and Grample is way high oh. to the outside. Will Knight Rider Ace capitalize? It doesn't look like he'll be able to, as he gives up the inside to Elite. That's going to hurt Knight quite a bit, as Kevin is going to file right behind him. Oh. That's a bad break, but Logie takes the lead. And that is now a first lap led for Logie. Absolutely insane. You'll see you're checking the mail, beefy, <laughs> says Logie in chat. <laughs> so it looks like uh, Knight Rider Ace was able to perform damage control, but look at this gap here between the two of them. Logie is pulling away and fast. Six laps remaining. And Knight Rider Ace goes high. It looks like Elite is able to get under him, but it speeds off. Just find more laps. Keep it together. Okay, we're gonna go back here a little bit as wait a minute. Knight Rider Ace takes second over Grample. Let's go! Knight Rider Ace is chasing down the field right now as Logie still has a pretty sizable lead. Four laps to go. I'm trying to give an update on Nippo here. Nippo is stuck in lap traffic hell still behind Beefy. And if we see Nippo crash Beefy, we know why. <laughs> Just gonna put that out there. As Logie is wheeling this peach around, Knight Rider Ace looking to put the gas on. Oh. I have to say, every one of these league races has been better than the last one. Uh huh. Every I agree. one. <laughs> Absolutely agree. Two laps remaining. I don't think I'll be able to catch him. You close the gap a little bit. Oh, wrong one. And there we go. The white flag is waving for Logi Kara. 
One more lap separates Logie and a victory here. Will Knight Rider Ace have the run of his life? Coming off the turn here, it doesn't look like he'll oh. be able to. One more pass, he's right on the back bumper. Oh. It doesn't oh. look like it'll be enough though, as Logie oh. sails to a win in Martinsville. Followed by Knight Rider Ace, followed by Grapple, KO, TG, Sideswipe. It's hard to tell who's a lap down or not. I believe Helton is the next position, followed by Nippo. What a race! Yo. Yo. <laughs> Holy cow, the winner, Logi Kara, in first place, the 76 Pokemon Showdown car. Chevrolet really, really put everyone on notice this race. Yeah, every the Chevys all are in the top ten. Oh my god. All six of them. Alright, so your unofficial standings for the race. First place, Logie Kara. In second place, the 51 of Knight Rider Ace. A fantastic run for him. In third place, the number three of Grample. In fourth place, the 12 of KO. So the top th uh, four here, three of them are newcomers to the event. Uh, in fourth, uh, fifth place is the 27 of TG. Top five, let's go, baby. In sixth is the number seven of Sideswipe, who's gonna enjoy, a, he might, I don't know. He's currently, or Sideswipe's currently third in the points, so this is gonna help immensely for his championship campaign. In seventh place is the 18 of Health Insurance. In eighth is the number one of Nippo, who after completely dominating had his lead ruined by that yellow flag of Beefy getting into the fender of the 05 Marshall, retiring him from the race that, and then Nippo just got stuck in traffic after a pit stop and Jesus, oh God. Uh, you hate to see it. And those are just the eight people who finished on the lead lap. Holy smokes. <laughs> in ninth is the 71 of Elite. In 10th is the 14 of Aquatic. In 11th is the 37 of um, Monty. Monty. Thank you. I For some reason, I can't remember Monty's number. In 12th is the 42 of Pro Hybrid. In 13th is the 87 of Pokéder. 14th, the 69 of Beefy. In 15th is the 8 of Surge. In 16th is the 91 of Firestar Rocks. 17th is the 24 of Pinpin. 18th, the 21 of Alex Ridian. In 19th, the 23 of Star Fox. In 20th is the 39 of Bees. Terrible, terrible race. You hate to see it for our championship leader. That's definitely going to take her out of first in the points. And our only retiree of the race after an accident is Marshall, the 05, who came out really strong in the opening laps of the race, fell down the fourth, trying to get back up, and then Beefy got behind him, man. You hate to see it. But there you go. An amazing, an amazing race. I want to thank both of you, Helton and Knight Raider Ace, for joining me on commentary and making this the best race possible. Uh, you guys helped a ton, especially when it came to keeping track of the pit cycles. So. And Maestro still had the most la la laps led. Oh, so that's five points then. So he, so Maestro is escaping this with at least ten points. So it's not as bad as it could have been. Nippo did have the fast slap. Uh, yeah, that one point one four six. Yeah, that makes sense. Nippo was going like stink there. Oh yeah, sure enough. Holy moly! Well, thank you everyone in the stream for joining us. Sorry for starting a bit late. There were a couple of technical difficulties preventing us from uh, starting exactly at eight o'clock. Join us next week, same time, eight o'clock Thursdays, as we go to Talladega Super Speedway for our second Super Speedway event. So, the last one was won by you, Helton, so uh -huh. uh, everyone's going to have their eyes on you, and we might see more Chevrolet dominance next week. Um, but for those two, I've been TG. Thank you so much for either watching this live on Twitch on my Twitch channel or watching the VOD back on YouTube. Have a great one, and uh, this, this league keeps getting better and better. <laughs>